Hi everybody, I'm Mike with MK Outdoor Journal and today we're going to take a look at the Riker Grip and Sling. Stick around, maybe we'll learn something together. Those who saw my videos from the gathering at the sawmill in Columbus, the one hosted by Paul Meadows State Armory uh, down in South Carolina, will know that I met with Ron Holmes, the founder of Riker and the inventor of the Riker Grip. Uh, great guy, love uh, the dedication he has to making an innovative new way for people that have certain physical issues to be able to enjoy the shooting sports more comfortably. By the way, folks, no magazine, empty chamber, don't be freaking out. Traditionally, a vertical foregrip would be mounted underneath. Look at my position as I'm, I'm mocking up how you would hold this. I'm kind of hunched, my shoulders aren't right. I can feel a lot of tension. Well, Ron has some shoulder injuries and back injuries that make that very uncomfortable for him. So he figured out a way to relieve that tension on the shoulders and arms and put the, the weight of the rifle more on the back. And that's simply moving the foregrip from here over to the side. Now, this is a much more natural, much more comfortable position to be able to shoot from. We don't teach, you know, shooting a handgun kind of like this. We teach it with this hand position, right? Just like this. When you're shooting a handgun, your hand's out here, your support hand. Look where that support hand is when I'm shooting with the Riker grip. It is in the exact same place. That means that you don't have to train to shoot a pistol like this, to shoot a rifle like this, or like this, or a shotgun like this. You could train with all of those weapon systems the same, with your support hand in the same position. That leaves a lot less randomness in it. It makes everything you do more repeatable. And repeatability is the key to accuracy when we're shooting. This has some other benefits as well. Not only is it more ergonomic and more comfortable for shooting, but it's also more comfortable when you're transitioning target to target or going from a, a low ready position up to the shooting position. It makes things a whole lot easier. And again, repeatability, 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 because the hand positioning is the same, no matter the weapon system. That's important. Let's uh, shoot a couple transitions and shoot a couple uh, up downs and I'll show you what I'm talking about. As you can see, my transitions were smooth and easy. It let me go right up to where I wanted to be. I didn't overdrive the gun. I didn't overdrive it when I was going up and I didn't overdrive it when I'm going side to side. That's a, a, a good bit of that, not all of it, but a good bit of that is due to this, this grip. Let me give you a closer look at it. Now, they sent me this grip, and they sent me the mount here. This mount right here in between the rail and the grip is for a flashlight. And it puts your flashlight with a tail cap right there by your thumb so it's easy to find. Um, they also sent me this sling. Now you're like, gee, Mike, it's just a paracord sling. Well, no, not quite. There are three heavy duty bungees in here that give this some give to it. 
you can mount this on your rifle and it is adjustable via this thumb loop to go as loose as you want it or as tight as you want it. You have it tight like this, your rifle's not going anywhere. It's, it's very secure. It's gonna stay right where you want it to be even if you bend over. It does work with a plate carrier, but because of the bungee, you can still punch it out and it'll hold the rifle right back in. As a matter of fact, it'll help hold the rifle up. So that's really cool too. It'll let you, as I said, punch right out and get right into the, into the pocket, right where you need to be. And of course, if you need to do transitions, you can swim out of it, transition to the side, swim back, and go where you need to be. So let's take a look at the stretchiness of the bungee. I'll turn around here so you can see. I mean, there's a lot of give in that. It's strong enough that it'll keep your rifle where you need it to be, particularly, as I said, if you adjust it all the way tight, your rifle ain't going nowhere. It's gonna stay right where you need it to be. You know, I have to admit, when I first saw this, I thought it was a gimmick. I thought it was just one of those things that somebody's trying to sell something. And I tried it. I was wrong. There is a lot to it. This has a lot to offer. I know Ron is working on getting some a model of this made where you can plug your flashlight into it and it'll have the uh, control for the laser, light, whatever, here on the grip, so that's cool. Um, these are considered a vertical foregrip even though they're mounted on the side. So you cannot legally put these on an AR or other pistol. It's stupid, but you know, all our gun laws are stupid, right? But that is the law, at least as the ATF currently determines things, that this is a vertical foregrip, regardless of whether it's below the rifle or not. So be advised, if you go to put this on a pistol, you need to have the appropriate government permission from Big Daddy uh, ATF, or, well, your dog might not like you very much, right? Politics aside, I think this is a pretty innovative uh, tool for your shooter's toolbox. It's definitely one that's going to stay on this rifle. The sling and the grip together work very well. And I look forward to getting a lot more range time in with these. And I'm pretty sure it's going to help me improve my shooting. Because again, you know, that commonality between the handgun and the rifle you just can't really put a price on that man that is awesome that uh, again repeatability leads to accuracy and doing the same motion for all your weapon systems that's awesome so I'm Mike, this is MK Outdoor Journal. That was my look at the Riker Grip and Sling. If you like what you saw, please like, share, subscribe. Consider becoming a patron on my Patreon account. Every little bit helps me bring content like this to you. And as always, come on back. Maybe we'll learn something together.